Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fragrance of bois buying guide because if you watch my channel, I'm assuming you do, I just announced that I'm doing a special collaboration with Fragrance of Bois on an exclusive 10% discount code for my viewers only. So I was super happy about the offer and uh, I was very uh, grateful that they chose me. Uh, if you don't know, I've been a massive fan of the brand for a long time now and I met them in Cannes and they were so nice. I was already very familiar with the fragrances and anyways, um, basically they came to me because they know how much I love the brand and I'm passionate about it. They came to me and offered me an exclusive exclusive 10% discount code for my viewers only. So I was very happy to share it with you guys. So if you don't know, I have a discount code. It just started today, the 28th of May, and it's running for five days only. So till June 2nd, it's 10% off all of Fragrance Soubois, five days only. The code is DEMI10. But the reason that I'm doing this video today is because I had a lot of guys and girls messaging me being like, I want to use your code, but I have no idea what to buy. So I'm here to kind of bring a little bit of my thoughts on some of the fragrances and hopefully help you guys out when it comes to purchasing. So let's just get into it. I'm going to talk about one that I haven't really recommended to guys, but for me, it's definitely unisex and it is Santal Complet. Personally, this is where my fragrance of wide journey started. I love the fragrance. I think it is just beautiful and it is just wow. This is definitely a very sandalwood heavy fragrance, like sandalwood. It's creamy. It's got some vanilla. It's got some coconut. It almost has a tropical feeling to it. It's definitely not masculine. It's a very unisex fragrance, but absolutely stunning. For me, it makes me feel very sensual because it has this very creamy, slightly powdery. It has some lemon in here, so it gives a bit of a sour like um, brightness to the scent. But like I said, very sandalwood dominant with some vanilla, some coconut in here as well. It is, guys, absolutely incredible. I see this one being on a guy in like the summer, on like a vacation, like this is just beautiful. So Santal Complet from Fragrance Uwa, I'm obsessed with it. And if you watch me, you know that about me. Next up, we have Oud Rose Intense. Now, to me, again, this is a unisex rose fragrance. It is not feminine, it is not masculine, it is unisex. I've mentioned it before in my women's video, it personally reminds me of Ombre Nui from Christian Dior, 100%. Like, they're not the same, they don't smell, you couldn't spray them on each hand and they smell the same, but they give you a similar feeling. Oud Rose Intense is like a soft rose scent. It has some spiciness in there. It almost has a little bit of a soapy hint in there as well. It has some geranium. It has a freshness to it. It has a slight sweetness in the very background, but it's not sweet. But the reason to me why I think this is such a unisex rose is because it's not an overpowering rose. It doesn't smell like Delina from Parfum de Mali or Atomic Rose from Nisiru or I don't know. It's not overpowering. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's very elegant, very classy uh, and just stunning to me. So Oud Rose Intense from Fragrance Souvoir. I love it. I personally want to smell this one on a guy 100%. I'm a big fan of Ombre Nui and the feeling that they give me is very similar. The soft, sensual, a little spicy rose. It's one of my favorite type of rose scents and that's why. The next one that I have here is called Oud Blue Intense. This is one of my favorite fragrances from Fragrance Soubois for a man. Oud Blue Intense. It is one of the most like unique fragrances that I smelled in a long time. The first time that I tried it, I smelled it on one of the brand directors, Shadi, and I smelled it on him and I was like, wow, what fragrance are you wearing right now? It smells intoxicating. And he was like, obviously, like I'm wearing fragrance bois. And I was like, got it. And it was Oud Blue Intense. Guys, to me, this one is just wow. This is wow. This is fresh. It's got a citrusy orange note in there, maybe like mandarin. It has some spiciness to it for sure. It has a balsamic touch to it. Let me spray it actually. And also the sprayers of Fragrance of are amazing. Like whoa. It almost has a little bit of a minty quality to it as well. Maybe some patchouli in there too. So like I said guys, it's fresh. It has a spiciness. It has a minty almost quality. It has a sweetness to it because it has tonka bean in here. To me, this one is just, wow, one of my personal favorites, like I said, for a man from the brand. I love it. I personally love wearing it, and I can tell that a lot of you guys will like it. Maybe look at the notes, see if it's something that you would like, but for me, this is just, 
Wowza. Oud Blue Intense. Next up we have Milano, which is from their fashion collection. I believe it launched last year. And Milano, guys, again, is a wow fragrance. This one, I was surprised that I liked, actually. It's actually my fragrance and I love to wear it. It is a leather type of fragrance, but usually I'm the sort of person I don't like leather. Ombre Leather from Tom Ford. I'm sorry. I know it's a very great quality scent, but I hate it. Tuscan Leather is okay. But Milano for me is just wow because of the way that the leather has been uh, blended with the other notes. The leather in the scent is not obnoxious or heavy. It's more of this like fresh leather fragrance. The leather is prominent for sure, but it is more fresh. In the opening, you almost get like this uh, melon note, like a melon, rock melon, or like green melon type of note in there. And then when it dries down, I'm not even gonna lie, it gives me a Buckra Rouge 540 vibe mixed with leather. I don't know why, I'm actually gonna spray it on right now. Yeah. To me, like, like I said, in the dry down, it becomes a little sweeter and it almost has the addictive quality of Buckra Rouge 540 mixed with leather. I love it. In the opening, it's green, fresh, a little bit of melon. Dry down, it becomes like a little sweeter. Leather is still there and I personally love it. I think it's super sexy and I see it on a guy. Actually, I see this one on a guy going to lunch, night out. I see it anytime, anywhere, all year round type of fragrance if you like leather. So Milano is wow for me and I love it. So next up is one of my personal favorites from the brand and to me it is perfectly unisex. It is called Oud Orange Intense. Guys, this one I wear personally when I want to be noticed, when I want to show off, when I want to be intoxicating and capture the room. It's just, it's wow. This one is sweet. You do have to really like your sweeter fragrances to like this one. It has vanilla, it has some fruits, it has like a slight powderiness to it, a slight muskiness, some woodiness underneath. It's a very sweet, loud, intense fragrance. I feel like there's some maybe, maybe peach or, I can't even tell you guys what fruit is in here because I don't know. But there's a fruitiness, a vanilla sweetness, which is very strong. A muskiness, a slight powderiness. It's a very unique fragrance. And to me, honestly, one of my personal favorites from the brand, 100%. Actually, this is my boyfriend's favorite from the brand. He loves it himself. He loves to wear it himself. And I love to wear it myself. So this one is 100% unisex. But I do have to warn you guys, you do have to like sweeter fragrances because it's definitely sweet. So Oud Orange Intense. I love, I cannot recommend it enough. And yeah, this one is incredible. Next up, Cannabis Blue. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I like Cannabis Blue or Cannabis Intense? Personally, I prefer Cannabis Blue. And the reason, oh, this one is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Cannabis Blue, it's very green. The cannabis note is there. It has a mintiness to it, 100%. I believe it has a eucalyptus note, which is very present in the fragrance. And to me, eucalyptus, it's a very obvious smell. If you've ever smelled eucalyptus, we have a lot in Australia. It's a very obvious scent. It's like green, fresh, spicy, minty. It's, a, it's very obvious to your nose, but it's not overpowering in here. It's done to perfection. Cannabis Blue to me is actually one that I personally like to wear in like the heat. It makes me feel refreshed for some reason. And it's just amazing. It's spicy, fresh, green, minty. It's just fantastic. And yeah, I love it. It's not my favorite from the brand at all. I will tell you guys, but I do personally love it. And I love it a lot more than the Cannabis Intense. Next up, we have New York Fifth Avenue. Another one of my personal favorites I love. This one is a rose oud sweet combination. The rose is not overpowering, so don't worry if you're scared of wearing rose. Guys, I would never recommend you overly feminine fragrances because if you're a guy and you're watching my channel, I want you to smell good and I want you to smell not like a man, but I want to recommend what I would like on a man personally. New York Fifth Avenue is fantastic. Like I said, the oud is actually very present in here, so you do have to like oud, but it's not to the point where it's oud. Like it's not animalic barnyard skank oud it's not like that at all the oud is perfectly balanced with the sweeter notes and the rose i would say the like it's a very balanced combination 
And personally, I love it. I wear this one on like nights out. Again, when I want to be noticed, when I want to shine a little bit and smell intoxicating, I like to wear New York Fifth Avenue. If you like fragrances like Ubu K, um, Armani, uh, what's the fragrance? Rose Darby, uh, Noir de Noir, you probably will like this one. Although, like I said, the Oud is a little more present in here. It's fantastic. So New York Fifth Avenue, 100% I recommend it if you like your Oud Rose Sweet combinations. So next up, we actually have a fresh one from the brand and it's called Zest Marin. Zest Marin. Marin. Whatever. So this one is really good, but I do have to say something. If I would buy a fragrance du bois, I wouldn't buy this one because it's fresh it's citrusy, it's juicy, it's bitter. It's a very nice, fresh fragrance. It's, again, the quality from Fragrance Bois, it's incomparable. So, I mean, that's a good point. But I have to be honest with you guys right now, if I was to buy a Fragrance Bois or I would recommend one to you guys, I wouldn't tell you to buy a fresh fragrance from them or a aquatic, citrusy, I would not. I would tell you guys to buy one of their more intense fragrances, what they're known for and what they do best. This is an aquatic citrus. It has bergamot, lemon, aquatic notes, maybe some neroli. Like I said, it's nice. It's nice for sure. And I personally like to wear this one out of the shower, so does Pierre. But I, I wouldn't tell you guys to go and buy this one if you had the option. It's a fragrance that you can find anywhere, everywhere, anywhere. So I wouldn't tell you guys to buy this one, even though it smells the quality, but for me, I would tell you guys to buy others from the brand. So Zesmara, like I said, I like it, I wear it, but I wouldn't tell you guys to buy it. Now, what I would tell you guys to buy is Oud Ver Intense. I did talk about this one in a few videos and I mentioned that I feel like this fragrance is fit for a king and is 100% true. To me, this is just wow, the quality, the juice, it is a very sophisticated, let me spray it on actually. Wow. Woody, spicy, aromatic. That's what I would describe it as, a woody, spicy, fresh, aromatic. It's very sophisticated, very classy. If you like fragrances like Ted Hermes from Hermes, Royal Oud from Creed, there is more of a greenness in here which I personally love and I'm obsessed with it. And honestly, guys, this is one of my favorites for men, Oud Verge Intense, because of how classy, sophisticated, elegant, wow, it smells to me. I really think that this one is amazing. This could be definitely a signature scent for you all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring, business, special event, date night. This could easily be a signature. Like I said to me, it's very expensive smelling. So I personally love it and yeah. Oud Ver Intense, one of my favorites. So I'm quickly going to go through with you guys. I didn't want this video to be too long so you don't get bored. But I'm going to quickly go through what I recommend the most to you very quickly. So starting Oud Ver Intense. This one is for the guy who's very classy, sophisticated. It's not a vulgar, sexy scent. It's super refined. Like I said, for a king. Like it's fit for a king. It's elegant. It's suit it's suit and tie, it's business, it's you're a classy guy. You're a classy guy, you're elegant, you're a gentleman. This fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Woody, spicy, aromatic, fresh, green, a little citrusy in the top, beautiful, and I personally love it a lot. This is not sexy, it's not something that's sweet and sexy and addictive, it's classy. It could be your signature scent 100%. Signature scent, 100%. Milano. Milano shocked me and I didn't expect it and I didn't expect to love it so much. It's a leather fragrance that has this addictive Baccarat sweetness in the bottom. It has a freshness in the top. Again, all year round it could be worn. It is just fantastic if you like leather. If you like Tom Ford Tuscan leather, ombre leather, you probably would love this one because the leather is still there. Like I'm saying, it's just the leather is still there. It's just not as intense and heavy as in those fragrances. I love, I love, I think it's very sexy and the leather note is just done to perfection for me. So Milano, 100% recommend. Another one, Hublot Intense. Super, super unique, fresh, spicy, green, a little minty. It's just crazy. It's got a sweetness in there from the tonka bean. It's balsamic, but it's still very fresh. The notes would suggest 
when you look on Fragrantica or the website, the notes would suggest that this is a very heavy, deep fragrance. It's not. It could be worn all year round. It could be worn in the summer. I personally like to wear it in the summer and it's just fantastic. So Oud Blue, another one of my favorites. Very easy to wear and I love. Okay, next, Oud Orange. Now, this is for the guy that wants to stand out, that likes sweeter fragrances, that likes vanilla. Oh, somebody, I don't know where I read it, but somebody compared it to like Grand Soir from MFK. You could. You could compare it to this fragrance. You could. They don't smell the same whatsoever. Like, they really don't. But there's like this woody undertone to it that could maybe give you a feeling of Grand Soir. To me, Oud Orange is just amazing. It's not an all year round scent though for me. Like it's not a signature, it's not an easy to wear. It's more of a standout fragrance. It's more like you're going out, you wanna stand out, you wanna be intoxicating date night or something like that. Oud Orange, personally one of my favorites as well. Okay, as well, New York Fifth Avenue very quickly. If you like rose oud sweet combinations, this is the one. Next, oud rose, like I said, guys, ombre nui. This is your guy if you like Ombre Nui from Christian Dior. Again, all year round sort of fragrance, date nights, suits, event, beautiful, classy, refined, gentleman type of fragrances. Oud Rose Intense. And then Santal Complet. For me, I like to wear it myself, but a guy could easily wear it too. So Santal Complet. The only one that I'm like not recommending was the Zesmarant and Cannabis Blue, but only because Cannabis Blue and Oud Blue Intense, they could be pretty close and I much prefer Oud Blue Intense. I actually also have some other favorites from the brand, like London Oud is really good as well. Oud Noir Intense is amazing. Um, what else? That's probably it for now. I'll leave it there. Sahara Oud, it's also really good. But uh, I'm just gonna leave it there with the ones that I have and I hope that it, I could uh, clear any confusion up for you guys honestly if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and i will answer you so don't forget guys my 10 percent off discount code with fragrance Souvoir is only running for five days and then it's gone forever so maybe take advantage of it while you can it's just a dem 10 for 10 percent off and yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video i will talk to you guys soon Bye bye